So the overall goal is to ensure that all of our students graduate from our program and from high school in general. A lot of youth, they don't even believe that they can go to university. Giving youth the opportunity to first believe that, not only just believe that, but showing them the path to that, showing them examples of that, providing them the resources with that, providing them the support with that, we're just gonna make for a better world. Our organization has a history of 100% high school graduation rate. Our next metric is who pursues post-secondary education. And in our entire history, we have 94% of our students have gone on to pursue post-secondary education. That's comparative to 39% of the Jaden Finch community have uh, post-secondary designations. We had 10 and 11 and 12, and as I kept going and up and up, I was, I was able to get to where I need to be for my career. There was never a time that I needed help and someone couldn't help me here. And they always, they always made sure that I got it done. Because if you, if you don't get homework done, you don't end up in squash. And like, obviously, as a young child, like, that's not a good trade-off. Like, might as well get the homework done and play squash, right? And then I have also achieved the scholarship last award ceremony for, for $1,000. I also achieved 100% in my um, business course in grade 10, semester two. And it was like really amazing. There's a combination of all things. If we just did homework, it wouldn't be as beneficial. If we just did squash, it wouldn't be beneficial. It's the fact that we're incorporating all of these things, plus the field trips is what makes it successful for the students. We went downtown to give back to the homeless. We packaged like clothes, food, etc. When I grow up, I would most definitely like to like help out to like people that are less fortunate. So squash definitely gave me like motivation to be able to like go out there, don't be scared and you know, give back to like people that are less fortunate. Before I used to be frustrated and not as confident. I know I was very lost when I was younger. I was a bit feeling lost. But always been athletic though. And then for after squash, more peaceful person and a more family oriented person. But I feel like I found myself in a way from coming here to USD and you know finding people not just within Brookview with the same interest in playing squash, but also within like the Jane and Finch vicinity. Everyone helping me out, telling me to pursue what I love and what I'm good at. So and coming out of it more open-minded and more appreciative of of our community. The encouragement and people, you know, like telling me positive things and just seeing people like how they're proud of me, it just, you know, really boosted me and really made me happy. Our middle school students are looking up to our high school students. Our high school students are looking up to our junior directors and everyone knows their path. So you have somewhere to look and there's somewhere to go. Okay, so I think if, if this guy could be like this and if this guy could be very successful, then maybe I, I could be successful like that too. As academic director, I'm helping them with their education and their academics, but also with the squash and the, and the food. Uh, I think it, it eases the burden financially for these families, especially when inflation is up now and it's a lot harder to, to get the basic necessities here in Canada because of the economy and things like that. So I think we're helping in that way. You can have a kid come in this building and say, oh, I don't want to be involved with this. I'm just here for the, the snacks. All of a sudden, two weeks later, he's in love with squash, right? And you're going to see that confidence build off the court. Now he's going to be interacting with more students. He's going to be more receptive to the instructors. When he goes back to school, maybe it changes the way he operates. Maybe he's more open to learning in a different capacity. Our organization currently serves 117 students in the Jane and Finch community between grade 6 and grade 12. And we can only do that with the support of our community, with the help of our donors. Even though this isn't my family, it's like a second family to me. Everybody says this, but it's so true. Squash is a family. USC is a family.